My name is Henry Enfrey, and this is a game development tutorial to show you how to add textures to our animated character. Last time, in my last uh, Play Canvas tutorial entitled Animating Inside Play Canvas Using Arrow Keys, whose link is below, we animated our character so that if we press the arrow keys, like if we press up, uh, he starts walking. If we press right, he starts walking. If we press uh, down, he walks. And if we press to, uh, right, he walks. Um, so uh, we were successful with that, but now it's time to add textures. Okay, so the next thing that uh, we do is uh, go back to our editor. And then, um, uh, so with uh, Henry uh, checked with this, uh, when the Henry tab checked uh, back in our, uh, Henry's characteristic panel, um, you want to uh, uh, check mark this box called light map. And then, uh, if that's successful, uh, you had this uh, Henry uh, Henry as this uh, would turn gray. So the next thing that we want to do. Is uh, bring in our play canvas uh, folder that we've been working with earlier. So now, back when we were working with Autodesk uh, Character Generator, when we uh, exported our uh, files, our, our um, namely this main our main character and this uh, idle animation and this uh, uh, walking animation down here, the file that I'm most interested in is this uh, Henry underscore the color JPG file. I'm going to take this folder and I'm going to drag it into my assets uh, panel here. And when that's successful, you have this uh, Henry this materials uh, this material file right he here inside our assets folder. So then after that, you click on this plus here, click on materials. And on this uh, right side, where this ball is at, click on the uh, ball if it hasn't, uh, if you don't have this panel right here. But it, but when this panel shows up, scroll down to light map. I used to uh, mouse wheel to scroll down to light map. Click on this light map tab. And then when you click on the light map tab, you're gonna have this square box. And in the square box, uh, just uh, take this Henry color material, this material file and drag it into this uh, box right here and then do, uh, when that shows up you can do the same to this um, emissive uh, panel here click on that and then uh, take this materials and also drop it into this uh, emissive folder too in this emissive box too um, and you can actually um, drop and drag this material in all these uh, these different panels right here, but I, but I don't know what uh, some of these things mean, so uh, I just won't. Uh, I don't. Uh, you can just play around with that yourself to see what they do. And the last thing you have to do is uh, take this materials and boop. There goes our texture on our character. I'm going to scroll out just a little bit so you can just so you can see them a little bit better. So one reason that I like working with this emissive panel here is you you can take this slider here and and I either uh, uh, push it up if you want it lighter or push it down if you want it uh, darker. And uh, I want to, uh, I'm going to push it down to just a little bit darker because I want to look a little bit more like me. So uh. After that, um, uh, we can launch our game and see what happens. And bam! There goes our character with his color and his texture. And he got his animations too. And that's the end of this tutorial. Goodbye.